Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 206. That is, what are the contents of a defect report? Let me answer. So there are several contents in a defect report, okay? Whenever we report defects using any bug tracking tools or defect tracking tools that are available in the market, we come across different type of contents, okay? Different, different defect tracking tools have different contents, okay? So if you, if I take an example, let's say there's a Zoho bug tracking tool, okay? If you are trying to report a defect in the Zoho bug tracking tool, you will come across different contents. Similarly, if you, try to report a defect in a Jira, okay? Jira management tool, Jira agile management tool, if you are trying to report a defect, okay? In that Jira, the contents will be different. So different defect tracking tools will have different contents. So since the, the question is asked here, like what are the contents of a defect report, okay? I have collected different type of contents that are available in different defect tracking tools here okay so most of them i collected important ones i collected there may be other things that i have not covered in this session but that's okay if you explain these contents that will be more than enough for this question anyhow okay so let's get started the first one is defect id guys okay the first one is a defect id so if you are reporting the defect in any bug tracking tool or defect tracking tool, that defect tracking tool will automatically generate a unique ID for you. Okay, you don't have to do anything. It will automatically generate a unique number or ID for that particular defect, okay? So to differentiate this particular defect that you have reported now with other mm -hmm. defects, a unique defect ID will be auto-generated by the tools. In case of if you are reporting the defects in the old fashion where in a Word document or Excel files, then you yourself have to take the responsibility of giving a unique defect ID for each and every defect, okay? Fine, that is what is defect ID. Then coming to the defect summary or defect title, some defect tracking tools, it's called as defect title. In some defect tracking tools, it's called as defect summary. A brief, brief description of a defect, guys, okay? But in, in a single line or, uh, you know, right, in few less number of words, you have to describe, okay, what the defect is all about, okay? No one can read all the paragraphs or all the steps, right? Just by looking at the line, people need to understand that, okay? So that we generally write inside a defect summary. Anyhow, by the end of this uh, um, session, I'll be showing you some sample templates and examples, okay? For now, just understand them individually. After that, I'll show you the samples at the end. Then we have the defect status, okay? So whenever you report a defect, the status of the defect will be in one state, okay? Depending on the different, the different uh, defect tracking tools, so there will be different status. Zoho bug tracking tool has different set of statuses, whereas Jira has a different uh, set of statuses. So, so commonly, what are the different statuses that are available for a defect? When you report a defect, the defect will be generally in new state, okay? If uh, if the uh, dev project manager has not accepted, okay, it's not considered that as a defect, uh, uh, it's, if it is invalid or whatever the reason, he, he or she will reject the defect. Then if it is valid and all, if it's not a duplicate one, okay, if it has to be fixed right away without deferring it, okay, then it will be assigned to a developer, okay? So assigned state, then, uh, okay, then, uh, if the defect is not urgent to be fixed, okay, it can be fixed later in the cycle, uh, in later cycles of testing, then deferred state, then in progress state, uh, like uh, when the defect uh, fixing is in progress by the developer, okay, after assigning the defect to the developer, if the fixing is in progress, okay, then in progress, and after the defect has been completely fixed, then in the fixed state, and uh, once uh, the developer states that uh, the defect is fixed and tester, confirms that the defect is really fixed by the developer, then it will move into the closed state, okay? So like that, there are different states, okay? Current status of the defect is nothing but the defect status content in the defect report, okay? Fine. So these are the common ones, guys, because uh, you see in different uh, defect tracking tools, we have different defect statuses, okay? So we should not be 
uh, assuming that uh, all the defect tracking tools will have the same type of defects data sets okay then we have steps to reproduce guys okay so in order to make the developer's life easy in understanding the defect okay we have to describe okay after writing the summary that is title of the defect in very less number of words okay here under steps to reproduce we have to write a detailed step by step process okay which will help the developer by following the steps in reproducing the defect okay so steps to reproduce detailed steps for reproducing the defect like uh, go to this place select this option then do this do that then you will get the defect like that we have to clearly mention to the developer so the developer can reproduce the defect then we have the expected result okay expected result means uh, uh, what actually has to happen as per the application guys as per the application on following this steps to reproduce what actually has to happen is expected result okay how the application functionality has to really work okay if there is no defect that is expected result but but what exactly is happening why because the defect is reported because okay actual result is different from the expected result okay whatever we are expecting is not happening and actual result we are getting some other result just because of that reason okay we are reporting the defect so what is the reason behind reporting the defect is actual result guys okay which is uh, which differs differs from the expected result uh, okay then additional information if there is any other information apart from providing whatever you provide in the defect summary or steps to reproduce expected or actual if you want to provide more information okay to help the developer okay in understanding the defect well or okay so which will help uh, the developer in fixing the defect well such kind of information we have to provide in the additional information content then we have the attachments you see everything requires a proof right without proof okay without proof things won't work out even though you write the steps in a detailed manner the developer uh, may say that after following the steps i am not able to find the defect okay so unable to reproduce the defect with the given steps okay otherwise if you provide okay if there is a possibility of providing a screenshot or something okay uh, as an attachment if you provide something like a screenshot or a video sometimes people provide a video recording of uh, uh the steps they have followed for reproducing the defect in their machine or if that is not that much required video is not that much required okay just to save time you can also provide a screenshot okay of the place or the screen page screen where the defect is actually coming okay so that will become as a proof and it will also indirectly help the developer in reproducing the defect assign to whom the defect is assigned to at that particular point of time okay so so here there are different states right so when it is assigned state means it is assigned to the developer in that case assigned to developer name okay assigned to uh, column will be there in that we have to select the developer name to whom we are assigning okay so if the if the developer says that it is fixed state then developer will assign it back to the tester who has reported the defect okay the assign to either the developer or tester names will be there the next one is a version guys okay lot of a uh, lot of uh, contents are there for the defect report as you can see here so the next one is a version in which version of the software the defect is found okay so you see every application has a version okay so the developers keep on uh, changing the code and uh, changing the versions and giving us the latest version so but in which version of the software the defect is found is very important okay we have to mention the version of the software in which the defect is found and reported okay then functional area so you see any application has different uh, functional areas like login logout okay forgot password and many other so to which functional area from which uh, the defect is coming is the defect belong to the login or is the defect belong to the logout or is the defect belong to the forgot password we have to mention that fixed in build so once the developer fixes the particular defect okay it is also important for the developer to mention in which version of the software okay in which version of the software the defect is fixed okay in which version of the software the defect is fixed we have to clearly mention fixed in build 
then uh, CBR. It is uh, why why fixed in build version is very important because if the developer specifies uh, in so and so version we have fixed the defect, the tester also has to recheck or retest the defect uh, to confirm whether it is really fixed or not in a proper or correct version in which it is actually fixed. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the tester should not uh, test this particular defect in the old version of the software. Rather, the tester should test in the uh, actual version of the software in which the developer has actually fixed the defect. So this fixed in build or fixed in build version is very important for the developer to mention. Then, CVRT. So what is the impact of the defect on the application? Okay, uh, If there is spelling mistake, no impact. Okay, if the spelling mistake, it's a low impact. But uh, uh, if it is uh, causing a big uh, error page, error page is coming on the page. Okay, with some error signed all red color page instead of the actual page, some error page is coming. Okay, in that case, the impact will be high. Okay, so depending on what is the impact of the defect on the application, okay, uh, we have to provide the severity. Then we have the priority also. Priority is how urgent it is. Sometimes severity will be low, but priority may be high. Even though the severe spelling mistake may be there, but it is very important for the uh, for the team to fix the defect uh, fastly. Even just despite of the impact is low, also the priority may be high. Okay, priority is all about how urgent it is to fix the particular defect in the software. Then reported by who has actually. The tester will generally report the defect. Which tester has reported the defect is reported by most probably in, in any, any defect tracking tool or bug tracking tool you take. Okay, whenever you report a defect, automatically the defect tracking tool will select this option. Okay, will select this option like because uh, the, uh, the one who is reporting the defect has to log into the bug tracking tool, right? So the tool knows that who is reporting the defect and automatically it will take that you don't have to specifically fill. But if you are reporting the defect in a uh, template, whatever document template or Excel file, then you have to manually mention, otherwise not required. Test environment, you see in which environment the defect is found, okay? In which test environment is the defect? Is it is coming in Chrome browser or Firefox browser or Windows machine or Linux machine? or in all the environments, okay, we have to clearly mention. So that the, you see, if, if, you, if you don't mention the rest environment, for example, the defect is coming in Chrome browser, but the developer is uh, trying to reproduce these steps in the Firefox browser and is unable to get the defect, that is a problem, right? So, but if you mention the rest environment, if it is only coming in Chrome browser, and if you mention that, and developer will try that in Chrome browser only and will be able to reproduce the defect, okay? This kind of things happens. That's why mentioning the test environment is also very important and many more many more contents are there are possible okay if you go with the different uh, uh, bug tracking tools or defect tracking tools you will come across different contents guys but these are the major ones whatever i explained you see a lot of things i covered already this much will be more than enough if you want to answer in the interviews but uh, uh, just before winding up i'll show you some samples guys sample bug reports so that you'll get some idea like that so this is one sample that uh, that is uh, it's not a bug tracking tool guys it's a word document template or anything you can consider okay it's a normal word document uh, you see it's not a bug tracking tool okay uh, if i created a word document template okay? so a list of defects and you see uh, defect id is there defect summary or title you can say it will be like this severity then steps to reproduce okay different steps to reproduce expected result actual result then the screenshot, okay, all the things are available here, okay, screenshot. Uh, so some other uh, defects have the screenshot mentioned here. You see, as a proof, we have provided screenshot. So this particular bug, bug report, okay, bug report has only has few contents like bug ID, brief summary, severity, steps to reproduce, expected result, actual result, screenshot, that's it, okay. But different uh, bug reports will have different, okay. There are different bug tracking tools also available in the market. So let me take you to this website, guys, uh, where I found like a lot of information. Okay, this is a reference, you can say. Okay, this is not mine, but uh, as a reference, uh, you can go to this website and explore, guys. Okay, they have provided a lot of, okay, 14 bug reporting templates, different def uh, defect tracking tools they collected. And uh, okay, this is a very good website link. You can go here and see if you are 
reporting box in GitHub tool, then like uh, what will be the contents? What will be the contents? You see here browser screen size, OS, uh, view, viewport size, zoom level, pixel ratio, a lot of things are coming here, okay? So I think I need to maximize it a bit so that you can see. Yeah. Uh, uh, so they have a pricing model, so I could not upgrade, they are saying, but Zoho is one of the tools. Scroll down, you will find more, okay? Don't worry about only Zoho. Uh, so on, don't worry about only about GitHub, okay? Uh, they are unable to upgrade, so you see, but uh, small, okay? Report title is there, description is there, assignees are there, labels. Labels, sometimes in some defect reports, labels will be there, like uh, you can categorize the defects across different labels. Project also will be there in some bug, bug reports, like uh, you can mention the project name uh, against which automatically sometimes project will be selected, okay? Then uh, Jira, if you are reporting in Jira, how the Jira will be there? You see, it will be, uh, this will be like Jira, guys, summary is there here. Uh, you can add the Epic, uh, because Jira is all about Agile, right? So Epic and all those things will be there. Uh, then browser, screen size, and all those stuff, pixel ratio, and a lot of things are there. Name, summary, visual proof, environment, source. These are the different contents of the defect report. Then uh, we have Trello. If you are reporting on Trello, then reported, accepted, in progress are the statuses, I guess. These are the statuses they are following. Okay. Then there are different defect tracking tools. Okay, GitLab is there. In GitLab. They're unable to upgrade. Uh, Asana, Asana to-do list will be there, guys. As any, okay, simple like this. Steps to reproduce or console and all this stuff. Uh, then we have teamwork, another one. In teamwork, it will be like this. Uh, title, steps to reproduce, actual result, expected result, reported by source URL, okay, from in which page the defect is coming or something, console. Console logs are also there, allowing uh, an option where you can upload the console logs and many other stuff. Okay, the list will go on, guys. The list will go on. You can check this blog or website uh, to find more information about different defect tracking or reporting tools available in the market. Okay, but uh, whatever I explained are more than enough. Guys. Okay, whatever I covered in this session are more, more, more than enough. Okay. So hope guys, you got the answer for what are the contents of a defect report, okay? So that's all for this session. The next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.